Hey Happy Fox users, today I'm going to show you how to set up some new staff members and also some new roles. And what these roles are basically are your user rights that the staff members are going to have. So um, in order to get to this page, you're just going to click on the Manage tab and then the sub tab of Staff. And first let's start out by creating a new role. One thing to note really fast is when you are creating a new role here, you have the option of creating a, a whole, an entirely new role or you can clone an existing role in there that way you don't have to start from scratch and kind of select all the boxes basically but we're going to create a new role and in this time we're just going to say let's create an intern role and they're going to have some uh, some very basic rights this internal description can be whatever you want it to be and i don't want to give my intern managerial rights i just want to give them some very basic rights and i'll just check a few of these for example here and save my settings. So this is the all, only things that this intern is going to be able to do. Save the settings. Now I have my new role here. Let me create a intern to fit it. And I'm going to say this is John Smith. And we're going to give him an email of John Smith at JL company, my demo company here, dot com. He's not going to be an administrator. He's going to be an intern. And then I'm going to set his throttle limit, which will be five in this example. But that throttle limit applies to the auto assignments. If you use those, that's also in another video. And then I'm going to select his associated category. In this case, it'll be sales. And then I'm just going to save the settings. So now... I have a new role and an intern who's going to be able to sign on to Happy Fox, but he's a pending staff still, technically. What's going to happen is Happy Fox sent an email to this email address. He's going to click a link. He's going to create a password, and it's going to automatically launch him onto the Happy Fox staff portal there. And he'll be good to go, and he'll show up in your staff list. One other thing I wanted to show you really fast is... You can activate or inactivate staff by clicking on this checkbox, but you can't delete staff. The reason for that is because we want to protect the historical data within Happy Fox. So you can only activate or inactivate a particular staff member. And if they have any tickets assigned to them, it's going to ask you um, assign them to what person or what category. And so that you can keep that historical data on those tickets that that person was working on as well. And that's it. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to email us or check out our knowledge base. We'll be happy to talk with you. Thanks for using Happy Fox.